Hi everyone, um, welcome back to our YouTube channel, uh, just me and Charlie, and welcome to our kitchen. Uh, we, are, we are shooting off of our kitchen floor today. I think this is one of the best um, spots, like um, this place gets good light, so we decided to shoot here today. And also because Charlie, Charlie really likes his bed, and so we are sitting on his bed right now as we shoot. Um, um, we've been away for a bit of a while now. It's been one month and two weeks, I think. Um, sorry about that. And also, thank you for your support during this time while we were away. You kept watching our videos. Shelly, really? Are you really biting the gas cooker? You kept watching our videos. You kept liking our videos. You kept sharing your comments in the comment section. You kept subscribing to our channel, and for that, we're very grateful. So thank you for the support while we've been away. So why have we been away for the past one month and two weeks? Well, <laughs> life got in the way. I had to change jobs. Um, I started a new job um, and I'm very grateful for, uh, for that, especially during this time um, um, when the pandemic is happening and all of that. I know people, um, it's not very easy to get jobs right now. And even the jobs that we have, some still have pay cuts and um, and all of that so i'm grateful i was able to get um one during this time so adjusting to that getting on board to that new job chelly chelly <whistles> so i'm um, getting on board to that and also just getting to understand um the products and getting to plug in as, as soon as possible took a bit of a of of time and a toll uh, but that was necessary isn't it chelly yeah, that was that uh, that was necessary just so um i can keep living and keep fending for my dog so um that's that's why i've been away and if you're wondering um um about what i do for a living um i'm a designer a user experience and user interface designer so basically what that does is i help companies design products um so we're talking websites and web and mobile application. So I work together with, um, te with tech teams, software engineers. So I design those products, create experiences um, within those products, design how that looks and share that with developers to build that. Aside from that, I'm also a professional photographer, an award-winning professional photographer. So I also do uh, photography projects um, on the side or during the weekend just for fun. So if you ever feel like you need any photography work done, feel free to reach out. Whether that's family, individual, um, corporate, um, commercial, or if you just want photos of your pets taken, then you know the guy to call. Um, other than that, what have we been up to during this um, one month and two weeks we've been away? Charlie has been away on, on personal protection training, the second phase of his training. Yeah, we had talked about his first phase. He was still very young during that time, so we were literally just conditioning him. Conditioning means just laying the foundation for when serious, for when you have to train some more. <laughs> uh, I'll link a proper definition to conditioning with reference to dog training somewhere within the video. So that's that's uh, what he's been up to. He was away for a bit of a while. Um, it was it was hard living without him, without him having get having gotten used to living with him. It was a bit uh, lonely um, uh, while he was away, but also um, he had sort of gotten me into this play, into this routine situation where I was waking up, sleeping and eating during fixed times. So that was good. He had also gotten me into this active state. So I kept working out while he was away. In fact, it was a personal challenge for me to sort of say, um, I found it a bit hypocritical to send my dog to training to get trained every day and I just sit and do nothing. So it, I, I took it upon myself to do a personal challenge. So every day he was away on training. I also worked out um, during um, that time. So I guess that was also one thing that I liked about um, that period while he was, he was away. And also to be honest, I needed a break. <laughs> I needed a break. It's not easy living with 
with uh, a kid dog uh, and a German Shepherd. Uh, being very active breeds, they need to be exercised a lot. So constantly going out, constantly playing with them, uh, well, that's good. Um, being an introvert, it also takes a toll, a bit of a toll. And also cleaning up after him, you know, he, he, he goes to the bathroom on a balcony, so and me being OCD and a neat freak and a clean freak, constantly cleaning the house like two to three times a day. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying uh, it, was, it was good to take a bit of a break from that. His constant shedding, he's also shedding right now, so a lot of fur and hair everywhere. So while he was away, it was also good to take a break from that. Um, yeah, he was away for, for about one month and two weeks. Uh, he got back. Um, for the first, for the, for the first, during the first one week he was around, we didn't do any training. It was important for him to just um, sort of slide back into home, so to speak, um, get used to um, the, and the environment and the different um, conditions. And then after that, we began the second phase of his, um, of his personal protection training. Uh, for those who don't know what personal protection is, as the name suggests, it's it's teaching the dog, Charlie, don't bite me. It's teaching the dog to be able to protect himself and you as his owner by sort of enacting different scenarios. So um, um, in personal protection, a couple of things we are working on right now with him are perimeter guarding. We are doing a lot of bite work and again, attack scenarios. So we have decoys um, who help our trainer, Chris, um, during that um, personal protection training situation. So the decoy sort of enacts different scenarios under which an assailant or an attacker would attack you or your dog and he's taught to respond in certain ways. So in a nutshell, that is what personal protection is. And just to, to be clear, <laughs> personal protection doesn't turn your dog into a monster. It just, in fact, personal protection um, ensures that your dog is very well balanced so he can still be he'll still be the pet that he is Charlie, come. he'll still be the pet that he is and the companion that he is but whenever different scenarios arise different scenarios um this could be threats or anything like that he knows how to respond because he's gone through the training and and understands how to respond to those different situations so that's what personal protection is about and also most importantly he understands when to stop and when to go on. Yeah, so that's that's what we've been up to during uh, this time while he was away. Oh, and I also got a chance to become a decoy during one of the training sessions. And let me say, I've come to respect what my uh, dog trainer Chris does, and and what his 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 his, his partners do while they while they decoy or while they become decoys during those situations. It is not easy. <laughs> it requires a lot of cardiovascular exercises, a lot of um, just endurance. It's, it's a workout on its own. So I also got to do that and also got to experience chili dog biting. Come. Chili. So I also got to experience what that was like and just uh, uh, be involved in his training as much as possible. So that was, that was, in chili? Eh, no. So that was, that was interesting. What else have we been doing during this time, <laughs> Shelley? We've also we've also uh, gone to we got a chance to go to Karura Forest during um, Easter. That was on uh, on Good Friday. Um, it was his first time going out um, to any forested area. I think other than w around the area I live and where my trainer lives, he hasn't really gone beyond that so it was important for me to take him to to karura just to see other people see other dogs breathe fresh air play in the woods go in the caves um jump into water the rivers and the waterfalls that was very important um for me to do that with him um, i went there with a couple of friends who also had dogs so in total we had six dogs on that day it was a very fun experience um he was afraid of the water i think the only water he's been exposed to is is bath water which is an experience i think i'll do another video of how he behaves when it's time 
to take a shower. I think I think for some reason dogs are convinced bath time is death time. Like they will literally jump <clears throat> in puddles of water out there, jump into rivers and streams and even the waterfall like Charlie did while we were in Karura. But when it comes to bath time it's like he's going to die. He's so convinced he's going to die. So I'll definitely do um a video to that effect just so you can you can see how he behaves when it's when it's bath time. So yeah, that's uh, that's what we have been up to during this time while we have been away. And um, we'll keep sharing more, more, more moments, more videos um, as we go along. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for, for still being with us while we are away and um, for your support during that time. Until next time, thank you and bye.